I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in the darkness, but shall have the light of life. The Gospel according to St John, chapter 8. A poem that reflects that quotation from scripture. I see your world in light that shines behind me, lit by a sun whose rays I cannot see. The smallest gleam of light still seems to find me or find the child who's hiding deep inside me. I see your light reflected in the water or kindled suddenly in someone's eyes. It shimmers through the living leaves of summer or spills from silver veins in leaden skies. It gathers in the candles at our vespers. It concentrates in tiny drops of dew. At times it sings for joy, at times it whispers but all the time it calls me back to you. I follow you upstream through this dark night, my saviour, source and spring, my life and light. From St Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, verse 28. Simeon took Jesus in his arms and praised God saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the nations and for glory to your people Israel. Amen.
In daily Jewish morning prayer, before we declare the oneness of God, we say a blessing for God as creator of all, all that is light, but also that which is dark. But the existence of a darker side to creation is no reason to despair, for God also balances and reconciles many elements to make peace, shalom, making whole what is in need of healing. Being made in the image of God, we too have the power and responsibility to heal and be peacemakers. We can bring light into dark places. We can connect to the goodness in ourselves and lighten the loads of others. One of the oldest Jewish customs is observing the Sabbath. From sundown on Friday to sundown on Saturday, we let go of our busy week and rest. In effect, we press the pause button. The difficulties of the week aren't forgotten, but we make a special space for family, friendship, joy and love. By lighting the Sabbath candles, we celebrate the light and goodness of the world. And when the Sabbath is over, we keep that flame burning in our hearts, the Sabbath candles lighting a path for us through the week to come, no matter what darkness we may meet. Schabeslicht und Schabeslumpen, oh, wie süß die Seier schein. Schabes, oh, Schabes, oh, heiliger Schabes. Wie viel bringt er trotzdem jeden in sein Erd, in sein Bein. Schabes, oh, Schabes, oh, heiliger Schabes. Dei, die, die, dei, dam, dei, dei, dei.
in the name of God, the infinitely good, the most merciful. God is the light of the heavens and the earth. The likeness of his light is as a niche wherein is a lamp. The lamp is in a glass, the glass as it were a glittering star, kindled from a blessed tree, an olive neither of the east nor of the west, whose oil would almost glow forth of itself, though no fire touched it, light upon light. God guides to his light whom he wills, and God strikes similitudes for men, and God is knower of all things. And now a supplication on light from the Holy Prophet. God's peace and blessings be upon him. O God, place light in my heart and light in my tongue, and place light in my hearing and place light in my seeing and place light from below me, and place light from above me, and light on my right, and light on my left, and place light ahead of me, and place light behind me, and place light in myself, and make the light greater for me. Amen. In a time of darkness and grief, it is your light that we need you came to teach us how to live muhammad ya rasulallah you were so caring and kind your soul was full of light you are the best of mankind Muhammad Khair Khalqillah Salu ala Rasulillah Habib al Mustafa Peace be upon the Messenger, the Chosen One. From luxury you turned away. And all night you would pray, truthful in every word you say. Muhammad, Ya Rasulallah, you were so caring and kind. Your soul was full of light. You are the best of mankind. Muhammad Khair Khalqillah Salu ala Rasulillah Habib al Mustafa Peace be upon the Messenger, the Chosen One. I tried to follow your way. Do my best to live my life as you taught me. I pray to be close to you on that day and see you smile when you see me. Salu ala Rasulillah, Habib al Mustafa. Peace be upon the messenger, the chosen one. Seek with all your hearts the heavenly light, so that you may be enabled to understand the realities, that you may know the secret things of God, that the hidden ways may be made plain before your eyes. This light may be likened unto a mirror. And as a mirror reflects all that is before it, so this light shows to the eyes of our spirits all that exists in God's kingdom and causes the realities of things to be made visible. By the fire of the love of God, the veil is burnt 
which separates us from the heavenly realities. And with clear vision, we are enabled to struggle onward and upward, ever progressing in the paths of virtue and holiness and becoming the means of light to the world. tunnels do end with brightness piercing the gloom beams of light and hope hinduism teaches that light emanates from the eternal brahman god himself because of its divine origin light has a number of symbolisms first it symbolizes clarity and wisdom triumphing over ignorance and worldly attachments this is why we strive for enlightenment. Second, with clarity of thought and action comes the triumph of hope over despair. Like the tiny flickering of the flame, hope springs even from the darkest depths of despair. And finally, our ability to hope is related to the thrust we have that God will intervene to save us. Thus, the third and central symbolism of light, it is victory over darkness, the triumph of good over evil. The symbolism of light is more important now than ever before, as we navigate this dark year in which COVID-19 has claimed over a million lives. Therefore, may God grant clarity of mind and knowledge to our scientists, researchers, caregivers, and our decision makers, 
that we may triumph over this disease and welcome a brighter and better tomorrow. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Set a jot de la carke Roshan Nicado ye dunia Roshan Nicado ye dunia Tumvin tis no sapaki Hum sapu he mushikil me Almighty creator of the world, listen to our prayer. Restore the world with your shining light. Give us guidance and show us the way as we together light our candles of hope each day. तर्त और आसमान के बिखे समस्त एक जोत है ना काट है ना बाढ़ है ना बाढ़ काट होत है दिस इज फ्रॉम आवर सिख गुरबानी नो आवर ज्ञानी जी संत सिंह जी विल से दिस थिंग इन हिज वर्ड्स One night when I was not tired, I fell asleep and saw a gleaming drum with a golden light everywhere. Shining like the sun, it beamed everywhere. It glowed in the ten directions. I saw one in the form of a Brahmin beating the drum. And while it was being struck by him, these verses came forth. By the excellent drum of golden light, let the woes in the triple thousand world be suppressed, the woes in the evil states, and the woes of poverty here in the world. And by this resounding drum, may all troubles in the world be suppressed, may all beings be without fear, fearless. Men and gods are heard to say, May 
the Buddha sitting in his lotus red. Bring light to the blind, life to the dead. Golden light, golden light Shines by day and shines by night You can't stop that golden light Clears away darkness, brings bright light Rutra K2, well he had a dream Brahmin bangs his drum Light shines forth East, north, south and west Confession has just begun Golden light, golden light Shines by day and it shines by night Stop that golden light Clears away darkness, brings bright light Stop that golden light 